Welcome to the Jazz Postcast. David Locke along with Ron Boone. Ron, I, I'm not emotionally prepared for this. I already have one ongoing love affair, man crush, on a young big on a Jazz roster <laughs> in Derek Favors, who I have announced is physically similar to Derek Dwight Howard, mm -hmm. has the potential to defensively be Dwight Howard. I'm not, I'm not emotionally ready for Ennis Cantor to be this good. <laughs> well, I am, you know, because I, I think big things are ahead for him. Um, he works so hard, and he has so much ability. And, and when you put those two together, you're going to get something good out of it. And, and I think that's what we're, exactly what we're seeing out of Ennis Cantor. Plus the fact he's learning how to play. He's got three things going for him. He's learning how to play the game. He's young and very aggressive and very talented there as well. So this guy, this kid is going to help this basketball. Don't be surprised if he's not playing starter minutes by the end of the by uh, by mid year. Tyrone Corbin said it really well when someone asked, "Are these numbers real?" Before tonight's game, which he did against a first line team of the Portland Trailblazers, and Corbin says he thinks they're real. So much of this for the guy we saw last year is based on confidence. There's a personality transformation going on with Ennis Cantor. We are seeing a completely different guy. Today he came out of shoot around wearing a bright yellow shirt with blue bright shorts and shoes that matched and a T-shirt that he bought on a Venice Beach uh, stand. We wouldn't have seen this out of him a year ago. Well, he didn't know. I mean, you know, he was, he was young and he just getting into the league. And, and kudos and hats off to Al Jefferson for actually just taking him under his wing, teasing him all the time, correcting him when he was wrong. Uh, working with him uh, out on the floor all the time, and 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 I think he 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 would, he wrote Cantor enough to the point where Cantor now understands. So the dress, you know, sooner or later is going to come. You're going to learn how to, you know, match up your clothes. You know, you know what I mean? I'm trying. I'm still <laughs> okay. trying. I'm still working on. One you. of the coolest things I've seen, and you never know. Maybe these things happen all the time. For the game, right, when they're going through warm-ups, and we were down courtside tonight, Ennis Cantor and Al Jefferson were basically playing the basketball equivalent of Simon Says. And Al Jefferson was Simon. Yeah. And he would go into the post and put some intricate move together, as complicated footwork. as the he footwork, could, yes. to move in the post, and basically tell Ennis, copy it. In the middle of the game tonight, Ennis Cantor... That did exactly one of the moves that Al Jefferson slash Simon said for him to do. Right at the same spot that they were working on. I it mean, was it's so like, cool. And, and this is, I think, what Coach Corbin is saying. He's learning so fast, and, and he's doing it at a level now that uh, that's, he's going to demand so much playing time, and he's going to help this basketball team. Whether he does, comes off the bench all season long, it's, it, I don't think it matters for him, which is so great because he can go in the basketball game and give you something that a lot of starters won't. And he can go in the basketball game and make some things happen in a short period of time. You know, the other part of Ennis that I shared a little bit in the story I wrote at weareutahjazz.com today and probably should share, he's got his new iPad. Yeah. And he's got, it's, it's cancered, which is now a verb. Yeah. Which is, it's all in pink. I won't tell you what the screen save cover shot is. And it's with him everywhere. But as I wrote today, it's not with him everywhere for Angry Birds. It's because he's gotten the scouting program onto his computer. So when we left Portland and we came back from shoot-around, he's meeting with a coach the minute we get to the hotel to go through video and to go through film. This guy is totally committed. This is, he might be a goofball. He might be hysterically funny. What he really is, by the way, is he's really bright. Realize he's doing all of this in a second language. Yeah. You've got to be really smart to be able to do this in a second language. And, and, but he's committed, and that's what you're talking about at the beginning. It's hard work. Yeah, it's hard work, and, and I saw just that, if you're talking about in Portland, where he was working uh, after practice and, and sitting, going, looking over some film of uh, what he needs to do out there on the floor with one of the coaches. He's committed to learning, that's for sure. But, you know, tonight's basketball game was, uh, I think, a testament of, of uh, a preseason, the hard work the guys have put in, uh, and we saw some of that uh, coming out from the bench. You know, the starters in the second half, look, they look good in the third quarter. They outscored the Portland Trailblazers by what, by two, uh, by four, to give them a two-point lead. And 
the bench comes in and, and takes over. We saw Gordon Hayward with the ball in his hands more tonight. Yeah. A lot of pick and roll with Gordon and let Gordon kind of create some things. The offense It might have been because Mo Williams wasn't available, but that's just a, yet another option for Tyrone Corbin. Uh, that's another option, but I, but I think it's what he's doing. It is putting the basketball in Gordon Hayward's hands, which meaning if he doesn't, then he does, that way Gordon doesn't get lost. It, if, if he puts it in his hand, now Gordon has that option of, of making a play himself or, or making a play for someone else. But don't get lost out there on the floor. So – what you see out of players in their second and third year in the league when teams start defending you differently is what adjustments you make in order to make yourself um, a better player. And, and Gordon, he, he seems to get it. Five steals from Millsap, worth a mention. Mm -hmm. Four steals for Damari Carroll, worth a mention. Damari Carroll really impacted the game without scoring at all tonight. Mm -hmm. Al Jefferson had 15 points. It really, just it was a it was a fun game. 97-91. Portland played it to win. The Jazz played it to win, but just with their deep rotation, and you know, Tyrone Corbin is just going to have difficult decisions every night. It's a lot better than being the coach that looks down the bench and goes, "Oh dear God, I got to put that guy in." <laughs> he doesn't have any of that. Every night he's going to have, I mean, huge, unbelievable decisions. This team is a talk show host's dream. Yeah. who wants to nitpick on everything because every decision has a, an alternate answer that has a viable explanation to it. Yeah, it's a weaknesses, I, I think, um, probably going to be on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, transition defense is always going to be a problem. And the turnovers. The, 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 the new style of uh, offense by pushing the basketball up the floor, we saw this quite a bit tonight where they were trying to force it, pushing the basketball up the court. Sometimes that's not good. And it was getting the shots picked off. They ended up with, what, um, 17 turnovers, and Portland ended up with 25. Well, the Jazz forced a bunch late and stopped turning it over. Yeah. Was maybe there's one way to make them play defense. If you don't, you sit. You sit. Yeah. On behalf of Ron Boone, I'm David Locke. Jazz wrap up the preseason. Home Wednesday against the Dallas Mavericks. That is the tickets are available at utahjazz.com. Remember, the game against the Lakers, the second home game, is the only visit of the Lakers all season. Thanks for tuning to the postcast. Follow at Locked on Sports on Twitter. Are you ever going to start tweeting again? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start tweeting. You're going to start. So you can follow him. Is it 1051 or 41? 1,041. 1,041 straight. You can follow him on Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> and all the rest. Have a good night.